Now I've got a fun fact to tell you guys. Did you know that God's Lind and Arthur were made for children in Japan and America respectively? Yes, because it was made by Gakken and Toho for God's Lind, while Arthur was made by Cookie Jar. The characters are similar to that, for example, Godzilla basically looks like Arthur Reed. The other characters were paired together like, Gojiren is D.W. Reed, Angiris is Buster Baxter, Rodan is Binky Barnes, Barragan is Francine Fransky, King Ghidorah is Alan Powers, or sometimes they called him the Brain, and Mothra is a bit more like Muffy Crosswire. <laughs> Another fun fact is that Godsland is actually drawn in a cute and friendly chibi-esque anime style, while Arthur was drawn in a Mark Brown-like style. And that's all I've got to say. But it's not the end of the show yet. It's an ig, but without a loo. <laughs> Remember back in episode 2 where we looked at Godzilla Land and Arthur? Well. I've just managed to find some more air merchandise thanks to my friend Zach Hart. He's even drawn a picture of some of the characters from Arthur with my name on it. And here they are. How sweet of him to send them in. Thank you very much if you're watching Zach. Phew, I never thought I would panic that much in all my life. Oh goodness me. Now here is the top 10 list of programs that my friend Zach Hart likes. But before I start the countdown, I would like to say thank you to Zach for choosing the shows he liked. Now, let's count those programs that he liked. At number 10, it's those cheeky rack dolls Rosie and Jim. From Ragdoll Productions and Central Television Enterprises. At number 9, it's a program we've never heard of before, but it's the wacky world of Tick and Tack, created by Hiroshi Sazanrui. At number 8, it's Tots TV. Also from Ragdoll and Central. Hello Kitty's friend Caro Caro Carapy enters number 7. Created by Senria and Mesa Maheta. At number 6, it's Alvin and the Chipmunks. From Dick Entertainment and the Day Zone Productions. At number 5, we've got those muckrats, from Lashki CSUPO and Nickel Alden. At number 4, it's our old friends the Twingies, from Telltale Productions and the BBC. Charlie and Lola are at number 3, from Tiger Aspect and the BBC. At number 2, it's another program we've never heard of before, but it's called Godzilla Land. Created by Sainas Yurkton Arthur and Ozan Atyama. And at number 1, it's Mark Brown's popular ever Arthur, from Sima. Good night everyone, and God bless. That was a bit easy counting 10 of those programs that my friend liked, isn't it? Hey Brian, I've something to tell and you. And now, it's time for a another top 10 list by my friend Zach Hart, but this time, it's about his favorite songs that he liked. Let's start the countdown. At number 10, we've got the late great Evaki with a Luna George, performing What Would I Change It To? At number 9, it's A Tie Against Candy, featuring Jennifer Thompson, and West Coast featuring Molly, by Coons. At number 8, Clean Bandit and Demi Lovato, with their single, Solo. Kiga's at number 7 with Jason Walker from Kids in Love, with Sunrise. Bob Marley returns to the charts at number 6 with his smash hit single, Jamming. But it's a remix from Kans. At number 5, Disclosure with No from Caracal, performing Super Ega. Not again. Pens with Stargate and Golden, performing Be Right Here. Kiga's back again at number 3, with Fiction, featuring Tom O'Dell from Cloud9. At number 2, we've got another single from Evercade at known as 10 More Days, featuring Zach Abel from Stories. And the number 1 Chart Opera's award goes to Pair of Slayer and Klingend, performing a remix of The Sun. The rewards will be sent over to their place via airmail. Goodbye. Wow. Now that's what I call music. Am I right? Now then, I like Sonic the Hedgehog. But then I like Super Mario Brothers. But which video game is better? Anyways. Here's another top 10 list for you guys. But this is different. It's Zach Hart's top 10 favorite children's TV themes. 
Let's go go. At number 10, we've got a song called Recommend, which is the theme from Godzilla Land. At number 9, Believe in Yourself by Ziggy Marley and the Melody Makers, the theme from Arthur. At number 8, it's our old friends the tweens, with Hey Hey Are You Ready To Play? At number 7, with the Chipmunks, the theme from Alvin and the Chipmunks. At number 6, it's a tie between the themes from Todd's TV, and Rosie and Jin. At number 5, the theme from Heathcliff. At number 4, we've got the newest theme from the 2001 series of Bill and Ben. At number 3, we've got the theme from Hello Kitty's friend, Hello Caro Carapy. At number 2, it's everyone's favorite trio from Disney's The Lion King, known as Timon and Pumda, who appear in their TV spin-off series. And our number 1 TV theme is, The Little Lulu Show. Goodbye. Now that's what I call a Fabaruni collection of theme songs in my brain. Well that's all we've got time for. Now it's time for another top 10 list by my friend Zach Hart, in which this week is about his favorite tropical house songs that he liked. At number 10, it's Walk Off the Earth and Penfox, with their remix of Summer Vibe. At number 9, there's Henry Prefer and Offenbach, with their cover of Bobby McFerrin's original hit Don't Worry Be Happy. We've got another remix at number 8, performed by Mumford & Sons Bloom Box and Sam Felt, and it's called I Will Wait. Country legend Dolly Parton is back at number 7, with her single, Yolene. Edited by Kygo. Klingon and Sunlight are at number 6, with Losing You. Who's Mo Zambo and Molly are at number 5, with To Describe You. At number 4, Baker Matt Goldfish and Marie Placid, with Games Continued. Baker Matt are also at number 3 alongside Thelma Houston, with Baby. Our latest pop hero Ed Sheeran is at number 2, performing one of his singles being I See Fire, with Kygo remixing it. Kygo are also remixing Kyla La Grange's Cut Your Teeth at number 2 as well. Aha, uh -huh, I bet Brian will love this, but at number 1, our all-time favorite Norwegian group Aha are back with their hit single, Take On Me, remixed by Kygo. That's an interesting list. Hello, is that Brian the Kalinchen 14 Rübsen? Oh, thank you Pat. Wow, my friend Zach Hart has sent me a letter today. Dear Brian the Bunny Rabbit, I went to Hunstanton last week, it was so cool. But now, I would like to tell you that, not only I'm a big fan of Godzilla Land and Arthur, but I am also a big fan of the SD Gundam anime cartoon shorts. I saw two of my favorite moments of the first cartoon like, the first one where Gundam imagines that he's pretending to be a ballerina, which was pretty girly and funny to look at, and the other one where Gundam uses the light symbol like sword to slash the screen and saying, I catch which possibly goes wrong when the glass cracks on front of the screen. <laughs> My favorite cartoons of all time were Founder Gundam, The Lost Story, the famous Dreamer and Company cartoon called A Dreamlike Maron Shore Trip to Space, and two famous SD Sengokudan cartoons, The Ghost Busting Five Gundam Team, and Halcyon Times of Peace. But the weird thing I've ever seen of my life was an advert of the famous SD Sengokudan action figures which, instead of using celluloid animation unlike the cartoons, they used digital ink and paint where the animators scanned the drawings into the computer and added color digitally, one frame at a time. Strangely, Gundam looks a bit like Heathcliff. Toru Furunya, who was the voice of Mario in the anime film released in 1986 was the voice of Gundam himself, these designs similar to Godzilla Land were in a chibi-like style as was called, super deformed froms. But enough of that, I must be going now. TTFN, ta, ta for now. Wow, that's very sweet of him. It's time now to head over to the world of classic Saturday morning programs. And now, here's another top 10 chart rundown list from Zach Hart, also known as Zachzilla. Here we go. At number 10, it's Stroby and Nuni Bao, with their cover of Avicii and Nicky Romero's single, I Could Be The One. Aaron Chopa is at number 9, with Don't Fight It, Feel It. At number 8, Coons are back with Trust, and When You're Gone, from Layers. 
At number 7, we've got Clean Bandit back on the charts with Jess Glynn, performing Busy Earning at the BBC Live Lounge. At number 6, Choby is back as well, with Stevie Appleton, with both the original and acoustic versions of Never Let You Down. Israel Kamaka Wee and Thomas Jack are at number 5, with their cover of Somewhere Over the Rainbow from The Wizard of Oz. Kygo's back at number 4, with Billy Raphael, performing I See You from Kids in Love. At number 3, the late great Avicii returns for real alongside Dan Tominski, with Hey Brother. At number 2, it's a double bill for Freddie Verano. Here he is along with Natalia Doko performing Comets, and here he is again with Sam Smith performing Moments. And at number 1, it's Petty Biscuit, with the Ed Man and Just Tet remix of Sunset Lover. And I think that should be my last top 10 list on TV Burp for a while, because I think our voiceover guys are running out of breath here. <laughs> Not only did I receive a poster of Cornwall, but I've found some wonderful pictures, drawn by Zach Hart. These are drawing of scenes from one of his favorite CBBC programs, Arthur, which is still on that channel every morning. <laughs> Thank you very much Zach for sending me these pictures, now if you're feeling very arty and you want to draw a picture for me at the TV Burp Studio, you can send them to, Quackers is just one crazy duck, Wood Lane, London, whatever the letters and numbers are, they're on the Superstar Comedy website. Play days now, that's much better. Now I'd like to thank Zach Hart again for sending me two more top 10 lists that he's done, one of them is a list of his favorite pop songs from the 80s, and the other one showcases some of his favorite characters from Martha and Godzilla Land. I'm going to show them off in a different sort of way from now on, if you don't mind. The treacle people now. Unbelievable. That's all I can say. Now it's time for me to show off two more top 10 lists my friends have just sent to me. And one of them is from none other than my friend Hop the Frog. Hello Brian, haven't seen you in a while. Hello to you Hop. My top 10 list is about my favorite YouTube people that I recommend. Ah, uh, interesting. So, what's your list like then? That could be telling. Interesting as always. Thank you. I'll be back in a hippity hop Brian. Cheerio. Oh hello children. You've just caught me looking at these nice letters that Zach Hart has just sent to me. I'd thank Postman Bait for giving me these letters a couple of hours ago before Jack sent me his things. Now onto my kind of behavior, let this camera above me film the letters so that you can kinda see them. Have a look. Interesting aren't they? Thank you Zach for sending these letters. Now if you feel like sending me a letter or two, then write me one to this address. Quackers nearly got himself roasted in the oven while making pita bread, wood lane London etc. Number time now. So you see, Godzilla Land and Arthur are described as his favorite shows of all time, and both was released by Gakin and Toho and Cookie Jar respectively. Oh dear, hello and welcome to TV Burp. The crayons draw the wrong kind of beast, on the magic key. It has a head, and a tail, and... Oh, like him you mean? Me? A beast? Oh, give me a break. Step to it, Grounds! Draw the beast! No! Not like that! Now before we get on with the fight, because I know about Godzilla Land, and I've listened to a bit of LSD thanks to Zach Hart, I've noticed something rather strange. 
three of the Caillou from Godzilla Land are very similar to the members of LST. For example, Angiris looks like Labyrinth in the first place, Mothra looks a bit more like Sire, and as for Godzilla, well, he looks a bit more like Diplo in the first place. What a psychedelically strange thing this is. <laughs> As well as that, Postman Bait came into the set a couple of hours ago, and gave me this letter from Zach Hart himself. I've a feeling I'll be meeting him in the flat later on. All done. I'll go and get prepared for their fight scene. Oh hang on everyone, we've got another phone call. Let me get this big one real quick. Hello! I'm currently in my flat voting the last get the present series of Sympathy Third! Hello, Brian. Long time no see. Zack Zack Silver Heart here. Oh, hello. You must be that Zack Hart guy I was talking about earlier. Great. Now I know that you've sent me a letter during the first act, but what else have you been up to recently? I have a nice day at school yesterday. Ah, good. Anything else? I'm kind of clowns, but my brother Jake and other Medicaid students on 24th of September. <sighs> but don't worry, I'll be back on the 20th of September, you know. I know, I found that out on your letter that you've just sent to me. Don't you know the French DJ named Coons? He met the singles Candy and the Jackson Tops and West Coast featuring Molly. Yeah? Hmm, I just listened, listened to it. And you know what? It feels just right. I love it. I respect your opinion about that, Zack. Even though I'm not really into modern music that much at all, I'm more into the 70s, 80s, 90s, and early 2000s music myself. But anyway, thanks for talking to me. I've got to get on with the show now, so I'll see you in the flat later. Bye. Oh, not again. Oh, hello, Brian. I just came by to see you. Ah, so you must be Zach Hart then. Also known as Zachzilla. Nice to see you. So, how do I look? You look quite good as one of the blokes off Arthur. Oh, thanks, Brian. I just heard the new character single made by Cigara. Era Air, Megan Trainer, and French Montana. And it is called Just Got Paid. Yeah? What about it? Hmm, I listened to it, and I love that song. Never heard of it. Well, okay. Before I go, I'll have to give you the gossip and merchandise and Mark Brown's best selling book. Arthur's eye. Here you go. Ooh, ta very much. I thought you'd never ask. Gossy rant, a uh, board game, and all eyes on Arthur, and I've got from Campren. What a nice lot of gifts you've given to me, Zach. Thank you. I love your show so much. Ah, uh, now that made me nearly wiggle my ears and twitch my nose a bit. Oh, bye, Brian. Oh. I couldn't agree with you more. Goodbye. Do you know what? I've never met anyone who's so kind to me. Anyway, on with the rest of the show. Now then, I've got a fun fact to tell you, and it's about the world of modern pop music. Back in May, Labyrinth, Sire, and Diplo teamed up for two new singles under the name LSD. The first one was called Genius on the 3rd of May 2018, but I'm surprised that the song references Albert Einstein, Galileo Galilei, Stephen Hawking, who sadly passed away in March, and Isaac Newton. And the other was called Audio, which it was the week after. And here is the design of the three artists. But the sad news is that, on the 20th of April, Tim Bergling, also known as his stage name Avicii, died in Muscat in Iman. How sad. Rest in peace, Tim. You will be missed.
What's that then? Why is the egg for Raven episode was not on TV Burb? Well, I know what you're thinking about Trick the Raven, but Rick TV is a verified channel, so we might be afraid if the episodes get third party content anyway. Oh dear God. You just said to me, I hope someone has these episodes and then upload them soon in You Better Ask Brian series. Don't you remember? Oh yes, vividly. Are you happy about this 20th episode? Better ask you from episode 11? Yep, I am. Well, I am.